my name is Mark Juliana. I'm very happy to be here at ICMP uh, today for an afternoon class. I started playing drums when I was 15 and um, there are no um, musicians in my family or anything. It was kind of on a whim. I, there wasn't much of a reason to start taking drum lessons but it was just kind of another thing to do. It's trying to, my parents always wanted me to be active and keep busy. So um, I started studying with the local teacher. His name is Joe Bergamini, who's an incredibly accomplished drummer himself. And again, I didn't have many expectations, um, but it was pretty quickly that I realized that um, there might be a special relationship forming with drums and with music. And really, it was just uh, always a joyful thing for me. So I just kept uh, chasing that feeling and. Here we are. <laughs> there, are there are many uh, important responsibilities of a, a drummer in, across all styles. Um, most often we're responsible for providing uh, a strong feeling in the music. And that's something that uh, can always be improved and always be honed. Um, and, uh, and also provide the music with a, a, an appropriate sound, with a great sound for that given music. I think, you know, with a strong feeling and a strong groove and a great sound, um, you can really get your foot in the door in a lot of different musical situations. And then it only isn't until those things are really delivered that you can start to um, provide maybe your own take on things or really let your own personality enter the music. Um, so for me, it's just um, I'm always thinking about the fundamentals and making sure that those are strong uh, because I will need those uh, every time I enter a new musical situation. There's an incredible composer, arranger, musician named R Maria Schneider in New York and David was a fan of hers and he reached out to her to collaborate on a song. Uh, she has like a big band in New York and I, she reached out to me to be a part of that song. So that was um, uh, in July of 2014. And that one song, we, we did a couple rehearsals with him and, and recorded that one song. And that came out as the only new song on like a greatest hits compilation called Nothing Has Changed. And then it was after that experience together that um, he came to see Donnie McCaslin's quartet play in New York, which features Donnie playing saxophone, Jason Lindner playing keyboards, and Tim Lefebvre playing bass, and myself. And um, I believe it was actually even Maria's idea. She said to David, hey, you should just do a whole album with these guys. And that led to Black Star. Um, so in many ways, it's a very organic, uh, typical story of just being around and personal connections and all those things and um, and the experience was incredible. I can't say enough nice things about him and about his process and it was really uh, incredible start to finish. He was very very present. You know we spent a lot of time together and uh, all of the performances on the album are we, we were playing together and he was singing with us and I think that really uh, helped um, you know get the, perf the the performances of the songs that were the best for the record um, so yeah it was an exceptional experience it, for me the single most important thing to do is to play with other musicians I think um, of course there's a lot of homework we need to do on our individual instruments but that can only get us so far you know I, I like to think of it as if you're practicing drums you'll become a better drummer but by playing with other people you become a better musician. <laughs>